Jump Nation, it's your boy here, Rushi S, aka the Jump Rope Coach. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to nail the run crossover the right way, the slick way, and get you skipping like a boss. Give us a big subscribe right now. This channel is blowing up fast, guys. Skipping is the new trend, and I wanna share with the whole world how to do it the right way. So in today's episode, we're gonna be concentrating on the Mayweather technique. As you all know, Floyd is one of the masters at skipping, one of the masters at jump roping in the whole boxing world. He has been my inspiration for the way I jump rope, my style, and everything that I've learned along the way. So I wanna share these techniques with you guys. I'm still being asked a lot of time, guys, how to maintain the speed and technique of the run crossover, to, to basically get it done as the money man himself. Because the fact is this guys, a lot of you know how to do crossover, know how to do the basic crossover, understand it, but you can't maintain the speed for a long time. All you need to do is follow this one key drill. If you're wondering what jump rope we're using in this video, and if you're new to Rush Athletics TV, this is the Rush Athletics Speed Rope guys, aka the money rope. Make sure you head down to www.rushathletics.co.uk and make sure you cop this rope. It's one of the best ropes on the market right now, one of the best speed ropes on the market to get you nailing crossovers, double unders, double under crosses, all the freestyle moves, all the moves you see Mayweather doing. This is the right rope for you guys. Make sure you head down and cop it now. So, right, without further ado, we're gonna smash right into this video. You guys are gonna nail it. Make sure you follow it. Give me your feedback down below as always. Let's run that intro as always, and I'm gonna see you in the next clip. Peace. Right guys, welcome to the commentary. So, before we get started, let me show you how I set things up. I usually use a knot in my rope. Um, I always talk about this in my tutorials, but I like to shorten the length slightly to give me an extra little bit of speed. But you guys can do these different type of drills to find out what the right length of rope is for you. You want to make sure that the rope is not too long and not too short. So what I like to do is these type of one arm swings as you can see here. Make sure you go back to my previous videos to show, uh, to sort of learn about these one arm swings. But the reason why I do it is to make sure that I can get the rope clip in the ground. I can get my body warmed up. Um, and this is all part of the setting up procedure guys. I like to just do basic sort of footsteps. Um, the footwork drills that I'm doing here, staying nice and light on my toes, just getting the sort of muscles fired up, getting my body fired up, um, my heart pumping. What you don't want to do guys is go into these run crossovers just cold. So this is just the procedure that I use and it'll be really useful for you guys just to do something similar to this before you get cracking with those run crossovers. Right, so step number two is the mechanics. So this is an advanced tutorial guys. So I'm gonna imagine you guys already know how to do a crossover. This is all about just incorporating the speed. So remember to always cross at the elbows. And the little tip that I'm gonna give you is to make sure you use your thumbs down the handles of the jump rope to allow you to turn your wrist over. And this is what's gonna give you the great perfect arcs that you need guys. So there's me just showing you just to turn those wrists over using those thumbs. Here we go here now guys. What you need to do is just try and kneel your body in forwards to allow you to get a wider cross. This is what Floyd does so well and, it what, and it's what allows him to do it so quickly. If you're upright and trying to cross, you can only really cross at your forearms and wrists and it just doesn't give you a big enough arc or loop and it just causes you to trip. So here you go, if you lean over, you get a nice wide um, cross at the elbows and it will allow the rope to pass beside you easily. So just showing some clips now, just taking it nice and easy with the run incorporated. And you just show, I'm just showing here the slow motion, I'm just getting the wrist turning over guys. That's the main thing, and this angle here is just showing the body kneeling forward slightly. So we're gonna get straight into the drill coming up, but I just wanna show you just the body kind of moving forward and the wrist and the elbows crossing. So here we go, straight into the third point now, which is the speed drill. This is where I want you guys to really pay attention. You can see here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 10 crosses very slowly. So very simple at my own pace. And I want you guys to go as slow as possible. After 10, I then go rapid, guys. I go right into fast 10 crosses and then I'm gonna slow it back down and that is just simply that's just simply just the drill what I want you guys to do guys is, is to actually learn how to go from fast to slow uh, with your crosses and you're gonna trip up you're bound to trip up in sort of certain periods of it whether it's kind of just doing the fast bit or the slow bit but I just want you to get through 10 slow 10 fast 10 slow and you just build up your drills like this here we go again so I'm just going through nice and slow nice and simple pace and then I get the feet moving I get the arms crossing breathing in through the nose out through the mouth crossing at the elbows 
And the more you do this, guys, the more you practice this type of drill, it's going to allow you to really burst through these crossovers whenever you want. You can put it together whenever you want and you can really get heads turning because you're in control of the move itself. So going into point number four, guys, just all about putting it together. I've just got a few clips here so I can just keep it nice and raw. Just let you guys watch on. But it's just the way I incorporate the fast crossovers or the, the run crossover into my routine. You'll see it coming up in a minute. And then we go into double unders. But I hope you guys can incorporate this drill, guys. It's so good um, for you to be able to go from fast to slow. And you'll realize that you can actually bar like blast out as many crossovers as you want. And you can catch your breath when you want as well. So let's get back to the live me. Boom. Right guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Whew, I'm super knackered guys. Very quick tutorial, short and sharp and sweet as always. But I hope you can take that drill away and actually make use of it and that it helps you. So please leave your comments down below and your feedback. Let me know how you guys get on as usual and I'll try and help you as much as possible. I always try and get back to all your comments as you know. <sighs> Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful again. That'd be really cool for me and you'll let me know what type of videos you like to, you guys would like to see going forward um yeah main tips guys just follow those key steps follow that drill um stay with it guys stay true to it all your workouts don't get disheartened if you keep tri tripping up if you keep slapping yourself if you keep whacking your head your ears and everything else it all comes with time and patience and a lot of effort guys this doesn't come overnight but these tutorials will hopefully help you get it done much more quicker so Without further ado, I'm going to catch you in the next video. Don't forget to catch that money rope if you haven't already and give me a subscribe if you are new to this channel. We'll really much appreciate it. So without further ado, catch you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Skip the treadmill. Stay safe. Peace.